Thank you, everybody, who braved the, the weather and, and made it out today. I know um, a lot of folks have some trouble because um, a lot of school closings in Montgomery County and Fairfax. Um, so a lot of folks have to deal with a lot of child care issues. So we are live streaming thanks to the Internet Society. So I'm really excited about that. Um, and C-SPAN is here today, so we'll be televising that at some point. So um, there's a lot of ways for um, this to get out. And of course, on our YouTube channel afterwards, we'll be, we'll be uh, showing the, the, the video and the audio at a later date as soon as we can get that up. So um, really, uh, thank you everybody for showing up. Um, State of the Net is really kind of a, a community effort, so I'm really excited that um, you, you made it here and that we're ready to go. Um, on your agenda, which you have in your packet, um, you should see that the person speaking should be Jerry Berman. Um, I am not Jerry Berman. Um, <laughs> Uh, I am Tim Lorden. Uh, Jerry Berman is the founder of the Internet Education Foundation, which, or, which organizes and produces the State of the Net, along with other, other projects like the Congressional Internet Caucus Advisory Committee events, uh, the Congressional App Challenge, which was launched um, a year ago today, and, and, and several other projects over the years. Um, Jerry um, uh, lives in a cabin in West Virginia um, during this time of year, and he never got out of that cabin. So uh, uh, he sends his regrets, and I wish he could be here, because Jerry created the Internet Education Foundation about 18 years ago with a lot of folks um, that are in this room to be a neutral platform uh, where every, every, every Internet stakeholder could come together in, in good faith um, and with civility, you know, debate these really important Internet issues. And Jerry, Jerry believed that everybody was an Internet stakeholder, even if they didn't realize it. And I think that has borne out over the years to be truer and truer and truer. There are more people coming to State of the Net. There are more people coming to the debates and the discussions about internet policy that we that probably never would have considered themselves internet stakeholders several years ago. So um, that vision uh, by Jerry and the uh, the founders of the board of the Internet Education Foundation has has proven to be more and more true as the years go by. Um, in your in your packet, just a little housekeeping. You have like a, an agenda. You have um, a list of our board members to whom uh, we are really grateful to, they, that keeps us balanced so we don't take any positions on legislation, but we're fair brokers in these debates. Um, and the board members will be introducing people throughout the day, um, and you'll get to meet a few of them. Um, and we also have the, the Wi-Fi information, which is super important. And um, the hashtag for Twitter, if you're tweeting, please do. And the hashtag is pound SOTN15. And um, so please tweet early and often. I um, want to thank our, our sponsors. Um, our platinum sponsors are Google, uh, Comcast, NBC, and Verizon, and we really appreciate it to them. And we have several other sponsors that are in your packet, and there's more information about them. Without, without them, we could not um, produce, we could, we could not find a venue of this size to host all the conversations that we really need to do. So um, let's see if I missed anything. Um, I think we, you know, I, people were asking me if we should have a, what's the theme for State of the Net this year? I kind of thought it was pretty self-explanatory, what's the State of the Net? Um, and, I, and then I thought about it, there's, there's no way we're going to come up with a theme for the Internet. It's just things are happening too fast, too quickly. I wouldn't even presume. Um, you will see, though, throughout the entire day, we have a strong vein of cybersecurity this year. A lot of cybersecurity. We have Bitcoin coming up at lunch and in a panel later this afternoon, which we think is a really fascinating development. We always get some privacy and really a strong broadband contingent. But but trying to put together a, a theme really is uh, really kind of difficult. I mean, when we had State of the Net last year, I looked around and um, HBO and ESPN were cable programmers, uh, and Amazon and Netflix were internet companies. A year later. I'm not sure if those classifications hold because I don't, I, uh, Amazon just won a couple of glo Golden Globes and ESPN is streaming online uh, as well as HBO. So things change really quickly. But I won't, you know, that, and that's why we kind of don't go with themes because things happen so quickly around here. Um, but I think we really need to hurry up because the other day in Davos, um, uh, Eric Schmidt said that the internet's going to disappear. So we better like have this state of the net before it actually goes away. And um, that's why I'm trying to hurry things up. Um, so we'll have a series of keynotes. Uh, we have um, starting off, uh, we'll, we'll, have, we'll go right through the, the afternoon to lunch, and then we go into breakout sessions. A lot of folks um, in some of the later sessions that were coming in from out of town got sucked in in New York and um, Boston. So we, we're, we have a few fill-in folks, so just look to your agenda. Um, Jared, one, one note that Jared Polis is not going to be with us today. That means that every, every keynote we have this morning um, is, is, is female, which I think is really, really awesome. And we have a, a panel on diversity and tech later in the day that will, will punctuate that, that happenstance. So.